Hello, and thank you for watching another episode of Red Beard Shaves. Today, I'm going to be giving my impressions on the Blackland Blackbird Titanium. This is one of two titanium razors that have entered my den. I've been promising you guys some titanium reviews, and well, here's one of them. I went ahead and whipped up a lather today. I haven't done a sterling shave for a while, so I went with sterling margaritas in the arctic and this is the glacial base so it's got some added menthol in there i whipped it up with my little chubby sized wolf whiskers brush well this brush is a little bit small for me for head shaving i absolutely love the pour so i keep it in the den for that reason and i load it up today in the razor, a Wizomet Super Iridium on its first use, which I believe, if memory serves correctly, is what I used during the Blackland Titanium or Stainless Steel Impressions video. So go ahead and wet the head. Uh, get a couple of uh, specs going for you guys. I didn't do specs in the Stainless Steel Razor video on Blackland. I kind of wanted to keep it for the titanium review. The uh, stainless steel comes in at 94 grams versus the titanium comes in at 54 grams. So it is a fair bit lighter. The uh, stainless steel is made out of 303 stainless steel and mine's actually been anodized that I have. Uh, versus it's a Billet V Titanium that they use in their Titanium Blackbird. The stainless steel comes in an 85 millimeter option or a 101 millimeter option for handle size, while the Titanium only comes in the 85 millimeter length. Um, I find the 85 millimeters is a good length, whether you like long handles or short handles. I feel it fits right in the middle of things. And both the stainless steel and the titanium that I have are in the 85 millimeter class. So, yeah, I was kind of looking through my previous videos and posts and realized that I haven't gone to the good old Sterling for a while. So I pulled that out today. It, on my entire week off stretch, just poured cats and dogs. And uh, today I'm supposed to go back to work. Of course, it's nice and sunny and warm. So I just thought I'd pull out a nice menthol soap and enjoy the day that way. Won't lie, wouldn't mind being out on a golf course right now, or doing something on the farm. But that's just the way it works. In April here in Oregon, you're either going to have a ton of rainy days, which we've had, or it's going to be a relatively dry month and you're going to feel like summer is already hit. So, it's not so bad. We've already... Uh, really been needing the rain. We've been kind of in a drought here in the valley for the last few years. So I won't tell the rain to go away quite yet, even though maybe I want to. All right. Forgot to mention this is a two band badger knot. I think it's from the TGN website, which is where if you don't source a special knot, with Peter from Wolf Whiskers, that's where he picks up his knots from. So, will this shave better than the Blackland Blackbird Stainless Steel? If you guys uh, remember my stainless steel review, I did comment that the razor was extremely efficient, but really wasn't a good feel and fit. To me, it just seemed a little bit harsh. I did look at the website, trying to get exact uh, blade gaps and measurements for the Blackbirds, both in the stainless steel and the titanium. Wasn't able to find that. I can tell you with shaving with both of them, 
I would consider it a medium aggressive razor with a positive blade exposure, meaning that you will have some blade feel. Uh, I was very surprised when I had received the stainless steel version first and it just felt a little bit rough to me. And the titanium is a fair bit of money more expensive. So I was a little hesitant to pick one up. I had a friend in the wet shaving community. He swears by the titanium. Said he did not like the stainless steel. And the titanium actually felt different. And it actually is his daily shaver and favorite razor in his den. So I kept watching the used sales sites. That's where I pick up a lot of my stuff. Um, I don't necessarily always pick it up brand new. I don't have that kind of income. So I don't mind shopping around for some deals. And one finally came up that was within a price range I was willing to spend. And I have shaved with it quite a few times now. And while I'm assuming which can always be dangerous, that the blade gaps are the same, the blade exposure is the same. There is something noticeably different between the titanium and the stainless steel. And what was different for me is that the titanium is buttery smooth. Even with that positive blade exposure, I don't get any harshness from it. Um, it's a little bit more forgiving on where you ride the bottom safety bar than the stainless steel. And it's really an enjoyable shaver. Wet the head for pass two. Starting to feel a little bit of that menthol kick from the margaritas in the Arctic. Oh yeah. Sometimes I don't mind doing uh, menthol at this day and age because it is more in the summer if I use it. Sorry, I had to snooze an alarm there. In the summer if I use it, I tend to want to sweat afterwards because the skin is so cold from the menthol and it's so warm and humid outside, I tend to sweat more. Versus if just on like a nice warm day, not, you know, I think we're still under 70 degrees. Um, I add on that menthol and I just get the genuine cooling effect. I don't have the sweating that follows with that. That's just me, my skin type, my fluffiness. Um, that I kind of actually enjoy this more on just warm days versus hot days. But yeah, the Blackland Titanium is really, really smooth. I find it a little bit more forgiving than the stainless steel. Um, is it a razor that's worth the additional price point like I believe the stainless steel option starts at 200 and the titanium version starts at 275 so it is a substantial increase in price I was able to pick mine up for a decent price I actually paid a little bit less than retail since it was used um and I think it's the polished finish on the titanium is over $300. This is just the matte finish. I actually really like matte finishes. Um, you know, I'm kind of lazy when it comes to my razors. I finish my shave, I throw them into a, a jar of barbicide. And so they get scratched. I mean, occasionally I'll take them to a buffing wheel and rebuff them. But for the most part, whenever they're the matte finish, they're pretty carefree and I can be a little bit reckless with them and uh, not worry 
about scratching them up and them showing those scratches as much. So I tend to lean a little bit more towards the matte finish. I don't find whenever I'm using a high polish versus a matte finish, I don't really notice anything different in Glide. I kind of feel like the Glide, as long as you have your soap dialed in, is going to be the same. So, and that's just what I have found in my experience. The efficiency of this razor is really something incredible. Like, it is effortless to get a BBS shave. I just put the razor down, let it do the work, and it just mows down that growth. I think I had two or three days worth of growth. I was getting a little bit shaggy. So I wanted to definitely freshen up before the night ahead at work. And uh, this is turning out to be a very nice shave. It's also mentioning with the uh, blade exposure, I, I can feel the blade. It just feels, I just caught that stupid mole again. That's been the bane of my existence lately. I'm catching that a lot. Um, it just feels so much smoother than the stainless steel. So, I don't know. Maybe they are different blade exposures. Maybe it's just the weight difference of the razor. I am not giving any pressure to this. I'm just letting the razor do the work. And it turns out to be... A mighty mighty fine BBS shave it's just buttery smooth other than I whacked that mole again doggone it every time it seems like I get that puppy healed up I'm whacking it again I don't know maybe I need to go to the doctor and have it removed it seems to be raising up more than usual causing me a little bit more havoc I'm not sure, but besides that, this shave is just going effortlessly, really nice. You get good feedback with the razor, good audio feedback. Uh, the other titanium razor that I have has a unique feature to the lightness that I'll go over when I do that review. All right, I'm going to go ahead and wet the head. Oh, yeah. That is a beautiful, beautiful shave. Mm, I got that puppy oozing good. If you've ever had a mole and you've nicked it, you know that they bleed like a son of a gun for a while. So... I don't typically like a styptic pencil. Um, I just do the old school, what my daddy did, uh, toilet paper. So, but first I'm gonna put on this glorious aftershave. I do have the matching aftershave, Margarita's in the Arctic. And this is also glacial. Oh, it's gonna be nice and cold. Didn't really go over the scent notes, but it just does smell. Oh yeah, that's a good shave right there. Has a nice lime punch from a classic margarita. And that is really, really nice. So some people like a styptic pencil. I typically don't only because for me, on my skin type, on my head, if I use a styptic pencil, it creates like a bumped up clot. And what ends up happening is in following shaves while that's healing, I just keep pulling that scab up. So I just do the old school, a piece of toilet paper, hold a little bit of pressure, 
and I'll look like a dork if I go into a store or something on my way to work. But I keep it just like that for a few hours and then usually I'll wet it a little bit and then it comes right off and it won't bleed again and I don't leave a raised scab for me to hit. So that's what I do. Maybe it'll work for you guys. Give it a try. There is something with the old timers that, you know, makes sense to some people. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this shave, my review of the Titanium Blackbird. Uh, I really do like this razor. I like it more than the stainless steel. And if you're looking for something, I mean, stainless steel is going to last a lifetime plus as well. Titanium, if you're kind of wanting to be a high roller, could be a good option for you as well. Remember to do something kind for somebody. It doesn't cost anything and it can make a world of difference. You guys all have a wonderful week and great shaves. And this is Redbeard out. Take care. Goodbye.